Hello everybody, Seth Buckeye here with Chinook RV. I am Chinook RV's factory representative for our Class B and B Plus motorhomes that we build here in Peru, Indiana. Here today I have the B Plus Maverick all new Eddie bed floor plan to show you guys today. This is a non-slide four season certified Murphy bed if you would, but we call it the Eddie bed built on the Ford Transit. So I'm gonna show it here, here we go. All right, Ford Transit with all wheel drive. This is the new Maverick Eddie Bed 360. All new paint job for this guy with a whole new paint scheme. You can see on the outside here a couple things. We got the Gerard Omelis awning on the camping side. You're going to have the new Chinook racing stripe on the front. I got the door open here. You can see the Maverick and the Xbeon 360 decal. I'll zoom in on that in a minute. So big things with this motorhome that we want to talk about. It's an aluminum overlapping sidewall construction. So it's not your typical flat box fiberglass wall. These are aluminum panels overlapping each other on the sidewall. Then you have a fiberglass front cap and a fiberglass rear cap. And you can see, and you'll see it better when I shut the door, the matching body line coming from the cab through the house of the coach. You know, kind of showing that sports car of motorhomes, if you would. I'm gonna walk around the motorhome now. So you're gonna have double pane windows, very large windows when you get inside. Now this is the 360 with the Xbeon lithium battery system. So it's going to be a Gen Delete. So all of these bays on the outside here are outside storage. Just really love this new paint job. So, you can see the Truma sticker on the side there. We're using the Truma Aventa on this guy with the built-in dehumidifier. You can see the Xbeon 360 batteries right there. They forgot the Timberline sticker, but that's okay. The Timberline hydronic gas fired heat and on-demand hot water system. It's really nice LP free system. Aluminum Ford wheels. All right. So that's a lot about the outside. Again, the Ford Transit going into the cab is all wheel drive. This is gonna have the V6 twin turbo EcoBoost motor. I'm gonna change the angle here. You can see the Xbeon Maverick logos. So back to the cab, V6 twin turbo, all wheel drive. You'll notice a really nice interior here. Ford does a very good job, big touch screen with navigation, Bluetooth. You're gonna notice a few things that we update here. First we re-coat, sorry, re-trim the seats from the factory cloth seats, and these are ultra leather to match the sofa in the back. You can see Chinook RV sports car motorhomes. Now a few things that we upgrade in here. It's gonna have 31 gallon fuel tank that we order versus the standards 25. We also order this factory trailer brake from Ford so you don't have to add in an aftermarket and then four auxiliary buttons. Now as far as the rest of the Ford cab we're going to order it with all of the steering wheel controls, all of your lane assist, safety features, collision, wind stabilization, all those safety features that Ford provides. We're going to try and make sure it's equipped with it.
We also do order it with the Ford 5,000 pound hitch and it's a 500 pound tongue weight. out here I'm gonna show fix the angle here you can see how that body line partitions straight into the house it's really nice I'm gonna change the angle back real quick so we can look at these storage boxes I think they give you a plentiful amount of storage for a motorhome that is 24 feet in length. Slam latch doors. These are aluminum doors. They're lightweight. And they are fully painted as well. Here is your water bay and then your 30 amp outlet talk about the water bay first here you're gonna have your fresh water fill your winterized hose your Santa flush this has a gray and black tank flush you're gonna notice an outside shower hookup with a nozzle there it's got hot and cold water cable hookup light in there for you and you can also see the four plug-ins for additional solar so part of the 360 package, we do 600 watts of solar on the roof, and then you can add in an additional 480 watts of solar through suitcase panels outside on the side of the coach here. So pretty cool. We've actually been able to achieve close to net zero with it fully set up. Now this right here, this is actually your black tank, so it has R9 insulation wrapped around it. There's a heat pad on it. And then this bay and the other bay on the other side are heated bays. So they're fully insulated. And they got heat duct and heat pads. And then these doors are pretty insulated as well. Now the smart plug's really nice. 30 amp on the cord plugs in one way and it has an indicator light so if you have bad power coming from the campground it will show you either blink red for bad or blink blue for good all right coming to the back of the coach here kind of an outside storage outside cooking area if you would so the cooktop inside pops up and comes out you do have a outlet out here. So induction cooktop cooking. You got a blender for margaritas, drinks, um, coffee maker. If you got any other cool plug-in accessories, charge your phone out here, laptop maybe. And then you have access there for service for the guys at the RV dealership. So a lot of people ask me, can you tell with this rear entry on here, I'm going to make sure I attach a picture of us towing our Jeep here from the factory. This is actually back when we were hauling units back and forth to the open house up there in Elkhart. Here's some more storage. This is another heated bay. That's your gray tank. So 24 gallon gray tank, 24 gallon black tank. And there's your smart cord in there. Not the outside storage again. So one thing I want to talk about that makes this unit very special is its four season certification. I'm excited to announce that we have the four season certification through Truma North America. So a few years ago we partnered with them to, 
through a cryo chamber program. And we had this unit tested down to five degrees. And they put in 21 different temperature sensors inside. Then the test consisted of knocking the unit down to five degrees at all those temperature sensors. And then locking the unit up, closing the windows, closing the doors, and then seeing how fast we can heat the inside of the coach with five degrees on the outside. We were able to do three hours and 20 minutes hitting the gold standard, having 65 degrees at all of those 21 different sensors on inside the coach with five degrees outside. After another hour or so, before they made us stop testing, we were able to hit 78 degrees inside the coach. Again, with five degrees outside. So pretty exciting, pretty well insulated. It's three inch thick walls, five inch thick roof. The fiberglass front cap and rear cap, they're insulated as well with R9 hush mat. So that's a lot of features about the outside. 24 feet 5 inches, height 10 feet 6 inches, dry weights 9,780 pounds. Hang on one second and we'll go inside. Alright, going inside the coach here. I'm going to change the zoom. Alright, as we go in, so you notice this rear entry. As you walk in, you're going to notice split bath. So you got a really nice solid surface shower here with a nice skylight so if you move around here you're going to see it's a double shower head so you can remove that nozzle and get to those hard to reach areas or if you're a taller gentleman or woman you can get those hard to reach angles like I said you can see all your lights here your Truma Venta air conditioner controller your Timberline hydronic heat and on-demand hot water system. This right here is your touch pad. There is no LP on this coach, so never mind that button, but this will show you your tank levels. And then your lighting system. So you got lights all around the coach, or light switches all around the coach to control all of that. And then this is your wardrobe here. Plenty of room in here. see some of the vinyl finish work in there too they do a really good job with fit and finish everywhere in this coach All right, let's show the bathroom All right, solid surface countertop sink residential style fixtures there's a light so ceramic toilet you can see vinyl finishing in here as well the whole wall is vinyl finished before it gets put on the coach as a matter of fact it's a pretty cool process solid surface backsplash just really nice all right let's go to the kitchen before i get to the cool part you got a full convection microwave here, Norcold 6.2 cubic foot refrigerator with pull out freezer. And then you got your induction cooktop here. So you can pop that out, take it outside, cook outside with that. That's the cover for the XB on screen or Victron screen. I'll go over that here in a second. Coca Cola bottle opener. That stems a lot of. Chinook Heritage there. There's the refrigerator. Freezer. Alright, so one thing I didn't point out in the last videos is our drawer construction. We do a pretty good job with that. We brand Chinook in on the drawer there. Dovetail construction. All solid wood. Big deep drawers, again solid wood. Chinook bumped in on the side. Nice pantry pull out here. 
Storage under the sink. Big deep sink. Residential style fixture. You can move, pulls out. Very deep sink. I mean, you can put a lot of dishes in there. CNC cut cabinetry. Now this interior color in this coach is the walnut chiffon. We will have other colors in some other videos here soon as well. This is a pretty cool layout. So this right now is in dinette mode. So you can enjoy dinner, lunch, play some cards, do a couple different things. You also have over here on the TV area, you have two cushions here over these countertops. So you can multi-use that if you wanna have people sit. We build these up to be pretty durable so some people can sit on them. Or you can use it for pictures, other things like that, maybe the cat bed, dog bed, smaller dog, things like that. TV comes up and down on a motor mount. You have a fireplace here, storage all underneath. JBL sound bar. It's gonna have the EQ hydraulic leveling system. Very nice cabinets. Lots of storage. Again, soft close cabinetry. And it closes. Alright. So before I transform it into the sofa mode, because this dinette does transform into a sofa. And then you can also change it into bed mode. Before I touch on that, I want to touch again on the vinyl padded finishing. So the vinyl padded finishing, remember it is padded. So you have padding between all of your construction, everything inside the coach. When the, wall, when the ceiling gets set over the wall, when these get attached, you have padding in between those joints. So again, what I'm getting at is when you're driving down the road, this coach is very quiet. Very big opening window. And right now I have the door open. I'll make sure I close the door here in just a sec. All right. So I am going to put this guy in the sofa mode. Hang on one second, because I have to do it alone. All right, now we are in sofa mode. So a couple things you gotta take apart to put together on this introduction model. We're gonna make it a little bit simpler in the production models. Now you can turn into a sofa, relax, watch TV, enjoy the fireplace heater right there. Big open window behind you. They do open on both sides. Now before I show it with the bed down, I do wanna talk about the Xbeon 360 battery system. 720 amp hour lithium batteries, 3000 watt Victron inverter plus components, just like this Victron Servo touchscreen. It's a seven inch touchscreen. 600 watts of solar, additional 480 watts can be added with those plug in ports. Second alternator with Gen Delete, so we delete the Cummins Onan generator. 
and the AGM batteries for those lithium batteries and that second alternator Ford's gonna allow you to idle at about two hours 80 amp hours an hour so you know, decent little charge out of those two hours at idle but when you're driving you're gonna get most of your charge at 250 amp hours an hour so after three hours you're gonna be completely charged it's a really nice system and then again that gets paired with the Timberline system hydronic heat and on-demand hot water the Truma Aventa air conditioner one thing I want to point out right here is the cab structure we're one of the few manufacturers that do not cut the cab. Very important when it comes to safety and construction. And then also with how the motorhome drives down the road. Again, this thing drives like feels like you're driving a car. You don't feel all you don't have all that body roll. Everything's very very well put together. Alright, so this is me in the sofa. It's getting dark out there. You can see the highway. I think it's a lot quieter now with that door shut. That padded finish and the hush mat do wonders. Alright. So now I'm going to drop this eddy bed is what we call it. So what's really nice is you can drop the bed, leave your bedding on it, not have to worry about putting your bedding away when you want to put the bed back up all right one second all right the eddy bed is down so you can see the other window now the mcd rolling shades that window does open so if you got this bed down you can enjoy that cross breeze this is awesome. So no slides here. I know that's unique. However, you can take this motor home almost anywhere, anytime, whether it be the Colorado Rockies, the mountains up in Vermont. If you want to take it to the Iditarod race up in Alaska, four seasons certified, heated tanks, your freshwater tank is under the sink base here so 30 gallons all your fresh water lines are above floor very unique you just run and jump on the bed one thing i want to note this is a huge addition this year is the all new thermal suppression system that system is over all of your sensitive areas when it comes to your fuse box behind the refrigerator you see fuse box right there behind the refrigerator over the batteries over the inverter over the second alternator over those batteries everything that could be temperature sensitive we put it in place that way if something were to happen you don't we're saving a life so this bed goes up nice and easy then you can put your cushions on and you got a sofa or you can put it in dinette mode all right i'm gonna take it outside and wrap up the video give me one second all right thank you again for tuning in today and watching the video this one is a little special so it's a little lengthy on the new eddy bed rv pro best at show this year at the elkhart open house all-wheel drive for transit a few notable options that we can get on this guy the all-new online package with starlink spacex internet and we can also add a generator back into place if you're looking for the ultimate power package with the second alternator, the lithium batteries, generator, and that would allow you 
almost limitless camping. Wrapping up the video, thank you very much for tuning in today again on the Maverick Eddie Bed 360. If you have any questions, you can reach out to info at chinookrv.com. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.